Welcome back to the channel and today's episode is about digging piers and laying out a foundation. We're fixing to build another equipment shelter. You see the one in the back, he's uh, got some more equipment. We're building them one in the front now, here closer to the road. And we went and we've uh, pulled strings, squared it up, and now we're building our boxes out of wood for our piers. He wanted to drop these piers close to the original elevation and what we will do is just add additional footage or inches to each column but I didn't uh, like that idea of every post being a different elevation so what I've done is on the front here I've done all the same elevation and then on the back because of the slope of the hill I have dropped it 15 and a half inches and then we'll make all the posts in the back 15 and a half inches longer this building's a 40 by 100 um, so we've squared it up we've got we've got a string here on this side and we got a string on the back um, 40 foot parallel and then we pulled our X measurement to get it square got our corners and then we've got 25 foot bays in this building so we've got a pier every 25 foot He's gonna leave it open with a dirt ground, a dirt floor instead of a maybe hauling some gravel, crush and run, or you know uh, <clears throat> later on instead of a con instead of a concrete foundation. And we're about to get it all level. We'll set our anchor bolts and we'll pour some concrete. No, 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 no. I need a, I need a little bit under them bolts so they hold up. You do it with speed and pick it up. We run that nut up and down just to break that concrete loose from the threads. Then we install the post, the column. We've got some clean threads. See how it cleans it off? If you, as long as you don't let the impact start torquing on it, you'll bust it right out. Just put it in reverse and break it out, let it loose, put it back down. And it just really just beating that concrete right off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. See, it started torquing, so we just need to clean a little bit. That way, we have some nice clean threads. Tighten this column up. Back on site today. Gonna get started. Put this building up. Standing some posts. My guy over here in the corner. Uh, the anchor bolts, concrete got in them a little bit. Our nuts won't get started, so we're just shaving them off just a tad at the top where they used a hammer whenever we took them out of the the forms that held them straight and it bent the top thread. So we're just shaving that off. Gonna get that nut started on there, not getting any anchor bolts stripped out. Start standing these posts, hanging some rafters. If you enjoy these videos, I hope you subscribe, like, comment. Pinche marrano. 
Man, I wasn't even recording that. Ah. Not two percent. Not two percent. Okay. columns and the manufacturer messed up and made both of them tall for the tall side this one should be in the back because of the wind column angled back toward this way so we're gonna take that one back down put it over here on the low side the taller post we're gonna take the one we just took down put it on the trailer take it back to the shop What's good is it's too long, so we don't have to order more material. Build on extra height or buy a whole nother post. We can just go and take this into the shop, cut it off, re weld the plates at the top, and we'll be set. So that's what's going on. Hopefully, while I'm gone, my guys will get these two bays with the purlins on them, get it tight in the square.